What's up, beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lindsay P. And if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you've been here before, hey, girl, hey. Nice to see you again. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup declutter. I just feel like I have a lot of stuff that's not being utilized. So it's time to get rid of it, basically. So I'm going to go through each one of my drawers and kind of show you guys what I'm keeping, what I'm not keeping how I'm making these decisions and we'll see at the end of it how much makeup I have left. So if you're interested in seeing my makeup collection and what I'm gonna be decluttering, then let's jump right into the video. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation and it's in the shade 80N. I definitely think I wanna keep this. I love this foundation in the summertime. It's really great at oil control. This is one of the few foundations that's like my shade at my absolute deepest. So peak of summer, vacation time, this is something that I need to have. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this. One size beauty. Y'all know I, I do love this foundation. It looks absolutely stunning in pictures, but I'm not sure about it. It's a BB cream. I love it, but this is a lot of coverage. I tend to like my stuff a little bit more on the medium to buildable side. So I'm not fully sure about this, but we'll keep it for now. Maybe it'll make it like second round declutter. Next, we have the Uma Beauty Foundation. This is a really nice foundation. I actually wore it the other day. Nice buildable medium coverage. I just don't reach for it a lot. I don't know why, I just don't. So I think we're gonna go ahead and let her go, but really, really pretty foundation. I think it was maybe the lasting power for me why this didn't work. Just not excited about it. So we're gonna let her go. Okay. Next is my Bobbi Brown. Now y'all know I love this foundation. Um, I just haven't reached for her lately. Could I do without her? I, I don't know if I could do without her. This is a really good foundation for travel, vacation, all of that stuff because it really doesn't move and it's really, really lightweight. But I think the shade that I have is more of my winter shade, which is why I don't reach for it as much. So I'm gonna do three piles. I'm gonna do, no, it's leaving. I'm not sure, circle back, which is where this is going. It's gonna be joining our one size here. And yes, absolutely, we're keeping it. This is a yes, absolutely, we're keeping it. I absolutely love the House Labs foundation. The finish, it has almost like a nice soft focus effect to the skin, photographs well, lightweight. She's that girl. Foundation of the year for 2022, so this is definitely something that I want to keep. Now, the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation, is this has some oil on it. I think I'm gonna let her go. I really did enjoy this foundation at the time, but I found that sometimes when I wear this foundation, it breaks up now around my nose. It wasn't doing that at first, so I don't know if it's just old or what, but I just don't reach for it that much, so I think I'm gonna let her go. Or I think I'm gonna have to choose between this and this because they perform similar. So if I'm gonna keep one, it's definitely gonna be Bobbi Brown. So we're gonna go ahead and let the Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation go. But if you're in the market for a matte foundation, this is a really good one. All right, next we have the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. This is in the shade of Manassas, my shade, and this is in New Caledonia. It's in here because I did my sister's makeup the other day and this is her shade. But this really belongs in my kit. And you can tell this one's mine because it's a lot more messy, a lot more beat up. This is in the shade Manassas and we're definitely keeping this because this plus sheer glow together mixed my all time favorite foundation combination and I'm actually almost done with it. So we're gonna go ahead and use this up and then yeah, get a new one. So we'll be keeping these. Next we have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Y'all already know this is staying. I absolutely love this foundation. So this is gonna stay. And then my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, another summer staple. I take it on every single vacation with me. So this is staying, yes, for sure. Now, we have the Shiseido Foundation. I, again, really, really like this, but because I already have the House Labs as well as the Luminous Silk, I don't and the Pat McGrath, which I will be keeping. 
I just don't think I need her, but she's really, really pretty, really nice foundation, but just, I don't, I don't reach for it that often. So we're going to go ahead and toss this one. Just circling back to my one size, I think I'm going to let it go. I think the rule is if the foundation doesn't like excite me to wear it, like if it just doesn't make my heart flutter, I got to let it go. It doesn't matter if it's a good foundation or not, because the truth is everything in this drawer at this point in time because I've done some decluttering earlier they're good foundations I like them all it's just are they my favorite and I don't think this is so we're gonna go ahead and part ways sorry babes <laughs> ah no I'm changing my mind I know I'm so annoying I'm so annoying I don't know I just feel like this is I haven't worn it enough yet to really know I did the initial video, I loved it, and then I never really reached for it again. I think we're gonna keep and then reevaluate at a later date, just cause I don't have any other BB creams. I know it performs well, like in hot weather, you know, hot climate situations. I do really like it, but it's like hurting me to get rid of it for whatever reason. So even though I'm not like super excited, I think I'm gonna keep it and just revisit it later. If in six months, I made more of a dent in her, we'll get rid of her then. Next, we have the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. This is gorgeous. I never use it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Really, really pretty, like I said. The shade match on this is impeccable. I just don't use it. So she can go have a love hate relationship with this one here because it has taken me forever to find my shade forever to you know really find something that works I wanted to love her so much and I do now but now I feel like I have a lot of other options that just don't feel as heavy on the face and I also feel like I don't know if you guys can ever see it but on my side of my cheek I have like a little indentation that this tends to settle in that I don't like so she's a classic but I think with me our relationship's up so she's gotta go obviously yes we're keeping her forever next is also the Lancome Tint Idol foundation stick um Let me see. Okay, so I recently tried the glow version of the Tint Idol and I quite enjoy this, so we will be keeping that. But the, uh, where is it? Did I already get rid of it? We got another NARS that shouldn't be here. I did my other sister's makeup and this is her shade. Oh, wow, guys. Yeah, I think I actually already got rid of the Tint Idol, the liquid one. I do enjoy this, especially for the winter months, the stick version. So I am going to keep it since I got rid of the liquid version of this. And now I have the glow. So this is the matte version in a stick and then the glow. Love them. So we'll keep both of those. Okay, Dior Backstage. Yes, yes, a million times over. And then y'all know this is that girl. I just got her like a couple months ago, so we're definitely gonna be keeping that. This is the Fashion Fair foundation stick. And this is also a really nice foundation stick. I really enjoy this. So we're gonna be keeping it. I, this isn't turning out to be much of a declutter, y'all. So far I've decluttered one, two, three, four, five foundations, but I really do love what's in my collection and I think I just needed to see it all but yeah this is really great I think just because it's been in the back I haven't been reaching for it I'm really excited to pull her back out for this season so we're keeping that I also have these these are the cover effects drops and I'm pretty sure mine are expired and I never use them for anything so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this yeah these were supposed to be like drops that um, add depth, like if you needed to deepen your foundation. But look at even like the color. 
I mean, it's deeper, but it's not doing much for me. So Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin is a keeper. I wore her the other day. So, so pretty. Um, the Milani Glow Hydrating Skin Tint. This is also really nice, but the staying power just... It doesn't last all day. I want something that's going to last eight hours and I can get a good five or six hours out of this. So I think I'm going to let this go. Also drugstore foundation. This is the Maybelline. What is this called? Superstay. Maybelline Superstay um, in the shade 360 Mocha. I don't really have that many drugstore foundations, so I'm gonna keep it just in case I wanna do like a drugstore video or something. I do like this formula with the white top better than the old one. Um, I just think I haven't, because it's in the back, I haven't reached for it. So we're gonna keep that. And then of course, I'm keeping my all time favorite drugstore foundation. She's that girl. This is L'Oreal Infallible True Match Foundation. And I have mine in the shade 8N Cappuccino, so. Those will stay. We have the Bobbi Brown Longwear, the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Fluid to Powder Foundation. Really nice foundation, but I don't think I need both of these. I don't think I need both of these because this is also matte as well. Yeah, so, but this is just the weightless version. So if I'm keeping this, I think we can let her go. This is the Fashion Fair cream foundation yes yes and yes we're gonna keep that but i'm gonna let go of the cover effects foundation this is their cream foundation really good but i'm pretty sure this is expired like real sure this is expired i would buy it again i think cover effects is at ulta now so maybe i'll get an updated version I have mine in the shade P100, beautiful cream foundation. Let me uh, swatch it for y'all. Um, I just think it's old, so it's time for me to get rid of it. That's what it looks like. Moving on to concealer. Too Faced Born This Way. I'm gonna declutter this because it's pretty much empty. It's time for a new one. This is in the shade Chestnut. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade 12.5. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this as well. No, it's this one. This one, I love this concealer, guys. This is such a good concealer. But the shade C13, I'm pretty much done with. So I need to stop scraping. Like I don't have 50 million other concealers to use and let this go. This will probably be done by February. So I'm gonna keep it and use it up. This is in the shade 12.5 uh, C. So, okay, so. I have two illuminators that I was telling you guys about. This is the Glotion and this is the Lumi. Um, Lumi can go. She served her time, but this one is just superior compared to this one. So I'm gonna keep the Glotion and the Lumi can, I don't know, I'll give it to my sister or something. Both really beautiful. It's just, I think this one is a bit more metallic. Yeah, it's a bit more harsh compared to the Glotion, which I just like the shade of it better too. It's a lot softer, blends into the skin better. I'm hoping y'all can see that. So we're gonna keep that one and get rid of this one. Back to concealer. So we're keeping this. We're keeping this. This is my mini NARS. Um, it's the NARS Creamy Radiant. And this is my spotlighting shade. It's in the shade Biscuit. So I'm keeping that. Um, this one, is this finished? I'm pretty sure this is finished too. Yeah. This is NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Cafe. No. This is in the shade Amand classic but I feel like this runs out so fast I don't know we're gonna get rid of that all of my Fenty concealers are staying this is the best next runner up to the NARS creamy radiant and so obviously I want to make sure I keep them have the shade um 420 410 and 360 love them they're staying no doubt 
Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is actually really drying now. I don't know how back in the day I was able to use this, but I just find that it leaves my under eyes feeling just a bit drier than I like them. So I'm gonna let that go. I don't, I don't think that's needed. I have the One Size Concealer. Um, I'm gonna keep this. I like this, but I don't really like the shade. So I mix it with other concealers, but the actual formula itself, I really, really enjoy. And then the Makeup Forever one, uh, I'ma let go because I just don't reach for it. And I think it's a color thing as well, but I don't need two concealers where I'm like iffy about the color. And even looking at the colors, I think this is just, not as orange as this one so i just don't reach for it because i i this is an orange concealer i'm not doing that i did wear it today in the video that i filmed earlier and i ended up mixing it so i like the formula i just think i got the wrong shade and i need to go back and get a shade that's more suitable but this is just way too orange this is in the shade 5.2 and i used it today to see if like am i tweaking or is this just something I couldn't wear on its own? And I couldn't wear this on its own. Where this one is just a little golden, but I could pull this off on its own depending on the foundation that I was wearing. But this, I, I can't. This will have me looking like a Oompa Loompa, so I'm gonna let that go. We got another Fenty concealer. Yes, this is in the shade 440. Is that another one or did I just put the Fenty concealers back in here? Oh no, it's another one. Yeah, 440. She's staying. Next is my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. I'm pretty sure this one's almost done too. Yeah, I think it's time to let this one go. She was good. I love this concealer. I love the color. I just think it's time to get a new one. Um, and I got mine in the shade 11. But yeah, we're just holding on and scraping at this point so we can let that go another foundation this is my minted foundation stick i love this foundation stick but i've had it for some time and i think because i am keeping the fashion fair foundation stick which i think is a better match for me i think i can let the well let me see let me see so we have the minted And I don't think I need all three foundation sticks. So yeah, I just think I've found better matches now. So this is the Fashion Fair. This is the um, Lancome. And this is the Mented. I just think I found foundation sticks that were a little bit of a better match and that I really enjoy. Still a great option if you're in the market for a foundation stick. I just think... I've already satisfied my foundation stick quota, so she's gonna go. These are more NARS Creamy Radiant. Is this done? Yeah, this is finished. I'm not sure why this is here. This is another scraping of the tube, and this is in the shade Hazelnut, so we'll let that go. And this is in the shade Chestnut, which do I have enough in here? This one still has some, so we'll keep this. Um, my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm just not excited about this. So she can go. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not excited about it. This one, the LYS Triple Fix. This is one I'm like indecisive on. It's a really good one. I think, I think I just need to give it more tries and I've just been so bogged down with how many I have that I haven't given it its fair go. So I'm gonna keep it and we'll reevaluate in six months if I'm gonna continue using it. But for now, I think we can keep her. Um, this, my NARS color corrector, you guys know I use this in every video, so this is definitely staying. My L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Foundation, I mean concealer. Now, this concealer I love. 
I love. This is a much better alternative to the Tarte Shape Tape for me. So I'm going to keep that. Immediate, yes. This is the Pat McGrath. Yes, ma'am. KVD Good Apple Concealer. Also immediately, yes. I love this concealer. I think we're keeping all of the rest of them. Except for this. I wish that they would put this concealer in a different packaging. The formula is fantastic, but I hate this sponge wand situation. I think that's why I don't reach for it as often. But I do love the concealer. And this looks like a newer one. Like, I haven't used it much. So, I'm going to keep it and just kind of push it to the forefront so I can use it up. And then I probably won't buy it again just because of the packaging. But, again, the formula, superb. Um, same thing here. We're keeping these because, duh. And this is one of my new favorites. So, yeah. Those concealers are staying these are all of the concealers that I'm going to be keeping down an entire pan or an entire like little kit between my concealers and my foundation so far. Uh, we still got the rest of the drawers to go through. So let me change my battery because it's dying. Switch the position of the light and we'll go through the rest of the stuff. All right, y'all. I am back. So this is all of the makeup that we've decided to get rid of so far. I feel like that's pretty good for the first drawer so let's oh no we're still not done with the first drawer so let's look into some other stuff so um okay let's look at these so this is my trusty trusty if you watch any of my videos you know this this is my uh revolution foundation stick in the shade f18 now i love this but this is pretty much been used to the brim there's like I can't even twist it up let me see yeah it can't be twisted up any further this is it so I pretty much used it I am going to scoop this out until the very last bit because I just love this that much I don't care I'm gonna finish it all the way down to the end of the packaging so I'm gonna keep this because I use this every day they actually ended up doing a new formulation of this and I don't know if I'm gonna like it as much so for as long as I can, I'm going to use this. These, on the other hand, I don't use. I don't use the Fenty Matchsticks pretty much at all. And I have two in the shade Espresso and, and one in the shade Cognac and one in the shade, what is this? Bordeaux? Bordeaux Brat? Bordeaux Brat. There we go. Um, one of these Espressos is done for and I think I bought a new one because y'all remember I used to line my lips with espresso so I think I'm gonna keep it for that purpose in case I lose any of my favorite liners or anything I love this for contouring my lips but I think this is the only one I'm gonna keep other shades I just don't use them I don't use them so we're gonna go ahead and part ways with them Next, we have the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Primer. Obviously, she's staying. I love this. Love this. And I just got it, like, during the last Sephora sale. So this is definitely staying. Um, now, this was or is the Pat McGrath Under Eye Powder. This is in the shade Deep. And this is her brightening powder. I love this. It was so good, you guys. I did a review on it if you're interested in seeing it. But I just reached for the Charlotte Tilbury powders way more than this. So I think I could let this go. I just, the Charlotte Tilbury powders do it for me. So great powder though. I just don't need it. Same thing here. This was the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder in the shade 2. I also don't reach for this because I have my Charlotte Tilbury powders. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go. It's a mini version of it, but it's just taking up space at this point. So Speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, obviously, based off of what I just said, we're going to keep this. This is the All Over Face Powder, the Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 3. Love that. This is a random eyeshadow that I got at like TJ Maxx, I think. It's an ABH eyeshadow and it's in the shade Real Gar, Real Gar, Real Gar. I don't know. 
but I love this. I have, she needs to put this shade back in a palette. This is the perfect transition shade and I use it all the time. That's why it's here. So that's why it's staying. Elf Putty Blush. I forgot what shade, but I do love this blush. So I am going to keep it. The NARS blush in the shade Exhibit A. Um, I am going to keep this. I love this blush. Super pretty. So we'll keep that there. I feel like everything else I can keep. My Fenty Beauty powder. Yes, we're going to keep that. Um, this is my Fashion Fair press powder. We're going to keep that. I need to clean some of this stuff. Um, my Makeup Forever pressed powder, keeping it. And this is my NARS bronzer. We'll talk about bronzers in a second. I don't know. That'll be the next drawer. Um, can't stop, won't stop. Set all of the powders. I have this one and this one, two shades. This one for setting underneath the eye and this one for all over the face depending or bronzing depending on the season. Yes, we're keeping those. And then here, okay. So here we have the LYS blush. This is in the shade Empower. Or high, yeah, Empower, the higher standard to blush. I definitely think I want to keep this. I really, really do like this. This I like it a lot. Um, now the bronzer though, although really pretty, I don't know, I don't know. It just doesn't give the exact color that I want. I don't know how to describe it, but when I put this bronzer on, I'm just not all the way wowed by the color. The formula and everything is great, but I, I'm just not feeling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. This is in the shade No Limits. No, this is their No Limits bronzer in the shade Strength, which is the dark shade. The under eye powder I love, so we're gonna keep this one. Um, and I think that's it for this drawer. Oh no, we also have the Danessa Myricks bronzer and this is in the shade Deep. Obviously, we love her, so this is staying. I'm almost hitting pan right there. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep that. And I think that's everything. That's everything for the first drawer, y'all. So let's move on to the second drawer. This is normally in the second drawer, but I took it out because, you know, I knew we were going through this today. So let's start with some things that I know for sure are going. One of them being this. This is the Merit Beauty Cheeky Blush. And I think this is a blush and lip. Now, y'all know, I'm not really a no makeup makeup girl. It's either all or nothing. And this is definitely more so for the no makeup makeup girls. It's really pretty, but it's really sheer. And so it's just really not my style, but really pretty nonetheless. But I'm gonna let her go. Um, What else? Also letting go the Milani blush. I know if you know, you know, Red Vino used to have the girls in a chokehold back in like 2014, 2015. This was that blush. I just, actually, I'm gonna keep it. It's a really pretty blush topper, but I don't use it on its own as a blush. But as a blush topper, it is really pretty. Paired with the Marina Beauté blush, superb. So we're gonna keep that. But the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb, forever use this thing. I don't really wear highlighter like that anymore. And if I do, I'm not really going for this icy type of highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. This Wet n Wild highlighter, if you know, you know. Okay, this is that girl. This is a really pretty highlighter. It looks really powdery and all of that in the pan. And y'all are probably thinking, Lindsay, this is too light, but I promise you, it's not. So I'm going to keep this highlighter. Um, as well as this one. Another fave here. This is the Makeup, Perf Makeup Forever. This is their like highlighter. You could also use it as a shadow. I'm not sure exactly what this color is. But I do really, really love this color. Um, what else is in here? My Dior Backstage. Yeah, my Dior Backstage Powder. Love, we're keeping her. 
Mm. The Battle of the Blushes. Okay. This blush stays. I love it. Just got it a, like a couple months ago. This is the KVD Snapdragon. Love that blush. Now this, I think I'm going to let go. This is the Juvia's Place blush and it's in the shade. I don't remember what shade. I don't know. I just don't think I need it. So we're going to let her go. I have two. This is in the shade, I'm pretty sure, Poppy. Yep. Poppy, if y'all remember when I bought this at the Sephora sale, you know I could not put this down. This is such a beautiful, muted, natural looking blush when it's on. So we're going to keep that. And then I also have the shade uh, Tiger Lily, which I also love. We're keeping that. And then I have this, which is a really, really, really bright pink from Sephora Collection, but she's gorgeous. So I'm keeping that. For setting powder, I think I'm gonna let go of the One Size Beauty setting powder. It's a mini version. I bought this on like a, I need something right now. I think I was out and something was happening with my makeup and I went ahead and bought this. I like it, but it's just, it leaves you really, 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 really matte. So I never use it. So that can go. Also here, I have my NARS Cream Bronzer. And I just think because it's been hiding in this drawer that I have not used it. But I do like this bronzer a lot. So I'm going to keep it and just make it a point to use. With this... This is the NARS Cream Bronzer as well in the shade Laguna, no, Punta Cana, in the shade Punta Cana. Now, y'all know I went hard for this bronzer. I think it was last year. I don't think I need her anymore. I, I think I could let her go, especially considering I have a few other bronzers in my realm. Um, and then the cream bronzer is just so much better of an option for me that I don't think I need this. Instead, what I am going to keep is some of the stuff in here. Like I am going to keep the, um, the glowish bronzer, which to me is just a better alternative in color, depth, and similar finishes. This has like some shimmer flakes and stuff in it too, but it's not as powdery. It gives more of like a buttery finish than the NARS. So we're going to let it go. Wow. Okay, so this is the Patrick Ta Blush Duo. And this is in the shade, ooh, she's different. So I have the cream and the powder. Now, I feel like, are they really similar? Hold on. I feel like these shades are really, really similar with the LYS and the, let me see. I mean, not exactly. The LYS definitely gives a bit more depth, and this is definitely a bit more muted. So I think I could keep them both. What y'all think? Or should I let one go? Let me know down in the comments. But for now, until I'm able to read y'all comments, I'm gonna just keep both. <laughs> so yeah, so I think that was everything that was in here. Let me wipe my hands off, and then we'll go on to the powder drawer. Okay guys, I am back and we are here at the powder drawer slash other random things. Remember this brand? It was like, again, like 2015, 2016 and all of the UK girls were talking about sleek makeup. So I ordered it. It's this really pretty orange and no lie, it's probably expired, but I don't care. I'm keeping it. I'm key, so it's for my face and my face only, but it's this beautiful orange shade. I just need to pull it to the forefront so I remember to use it and like layer it with stuff. But I love, love the shade. I don't feel like the camera is really picking up on the color, but it's like the perfect terracotta. So if y'all can point me in the direction of something similar to this, then I'll probably replace it. But for now, she's staying. Um... Here we have the Huda Beauty Tantor, and this is in the shade Medium. I really love, love, love this cream bronzer. This is that girl. This is Huda Beauty, and actually this is the shade Medium, which is perfect for me right now in the um, winter months. So I'm just going to finish it and then get rid of it. Okay, 
we have the Huda Beauty Glowish. This is the setting powder. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, right? So we have, let me pull out all three of them for y'all. So we have the Huda Beauty Glowish, the Dior Backstage, and my Sephora Micro Smooth Powders. I feel like this powder I can get with these effects. So I don't really need this powder. I like it. But I like these two more. This one leaves the skin looking, in my opinion, a lot more airbrushed. And then this one is great, but it's a, it's pigmented too. It's a lot more pigmented. So I'm gonna keep these and I'm actually gonna let go of the Dior Backstage. It's making my my heart a little bit sad, but I just feel like I don't need it if I have these two. This is my Bobbi Brown highlighter. As y'all can tell, she's been through it. I'm not sure what this entire situation is here. This doesn't look safe, so I'm gonna let that go. I'm not sure if that's like mold or what, but yeah. We're just gonna have to replace her. Um, next, I have my Fenty Beauty bronzers. I am missing one. I don't know where it is. I have uh, Coco Nati, I have Mocha Mami, and then I have Thick Mint. These are staying for sure. Here is a Marina Botte blush. And if you know me, you know I use these blushes all the time. So yes, they're staying. I have this one, um, which is in the shade uh, Terre Rouge. Then I also have this one, which is in the shade Maroon Peach. Yes, Maroon Peach. Beautiful. Next is this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Bronzer. Absolutely love this bronzer, although I would never wear it on its own. This is more of a contour shade for me, but we are going to keep her. I love this. Love it so much for sculpting. Here we have the Laura Mercier. This is, they're like, what is this called? This is their Ambient Sheer Light Reflecting Powder. It's in the shade number five. Also really pretty, also very similar to the Dior one. I think I might keep this and instead of using it as an all over face powder, use it as a very subtle highlight because do y'all see the reflection on that? I think that could be really, really pretty. So I'm gonna try using it that way and see if I get a little bit more wear out of this. The Becca Bronzer, this is in the shade Maui Nights, but I use this as a blush and is stunning so I'm gonna keep her here we have my Laura Mercier powders this is the translucent deep yes as well as the translucent in the shade honey yes y'all know you can never have too many Laura Mercier powders and then this is just my Fenty blotting powder my universal blotting powder that I take if I need it to go out so we're gonna keep that for sure this is the Queen collection bronzer and I remember I went on the hunt for this bronzer so so beautiful we just need to bring her to the front I think that's what it is we just need to bring some of these products to the front so I can actually see them and wear them because right now this bronzer would hit yeah so I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep her and then just pull her out closer to the front here is my Dior blush this is in the shade 999, very similar to NARS Exhibit A, kind of. It's a red, like a red orange, but this has some shimmer and it's a lot lighter. I'm definitely going to keep this blush as well. Here are my Maybelline Fit Me powders as well. This is staying for sure. This is what I use to set my under eye. And then I also have the shade 360 to set all over the face. Both of these will be staying. Um, this is a Makeup Forever, another random that I used to get a lot of wear out of. I have no idea what this shade is, but I used to use it to contour and I love it to sculpt the face. But now that I have this L'Oreal bronzer, I don't think I need this anymore. So I think I can go ahead and let this go. My Melt Cosmetics highlighter and it's in the shade Genesis, which if you guys know, that's my daughter's name. And that's what initially drew me to this product. I literally just bought it because it was named her name. But then I fell in love with it. I love this highlighter. 
it's like this nice peachy color that just looks so beautiful on my skin so yeah this is definitely staying y'all can see it even still looks new this is the charlotte tilbury um under eye brightening powder in the shade deep oh tan deep yep in the shade tan deep love this absolutely not getting rid of it so this is um the cover fx blush duos i don't think you can get them anymore but they're so nice this is in the shade mulberry and it's this beautiful plum color and then this is the rose um it's not really a rose gold i don't know what to call this shade but i mean i guess you can call it rose gold but topper that it has and then you can layer them so so good highly recommend i also have this other shade what is this in the shade spice cinnamon this is so pretty on as well so i'm actually glad i'm actually glad that i got rid of the juvia's place one because i think this is a better substitute for it so love that now this is my iman powder um this is in the shade medium i don't know child look the back is so scratched off but i use this very similar to the same way that i use the maybelline fit me press powder and that's to set my under eye so we're gonna keep that and then here oh lord do y'all remember this do y'all remember the hype that was around this now i knew that i wasn't going to use this as a highlighter i honestly don't even know why this is in this drawer but this was that girl back in college and we were all walking around with this on our face as a highlighter now do I want to keep it it's such a pretty goal and such a unique color I do think I want to keep it I think I just need to reposition it in my makeup drawer and put it with the shadows because that's what this is going to be used for it's it's not going to be a highlighter so we just need to move this around but we're going to keep her now that I'm thinking of it, earlier when I was talking about the Milani blush, I'm going to actually go ahead and get rid of this because since I have the um, Cover FX version in Spice Cinnamon and it has that shimmer topper as well, I don't need this. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then powders. We're keeping all of the powders. So this is a regular Laura Mercier translucent. This is Huda Beauty in the shade Kunafa. My Derma Blend Powder, Sephora Collection Powder, another Derma Blend Plout, another Derma Blend Powder, and then this is the Laura Mercier, but this is in the Glow Powder. I'm gonna let her go. It's just, I I don't know. I already don't use um, that much highlighter, and then the highlighter in the loose form. I'm figuring that I'm just not really a fan of it. If Laura Mercier were to come out with this in a press version. I'd be all here for it but I'm just I, I don't care for it in the loose form so I'm gonna go ahead and let that go I think all the way in the back is my ABH powder in the shade deep peach we're keeping I love this powder as well if you haven't tried this powder I highly recommend that you do so I'm gonna keep this okay moving on <laughs> to lips and primers and I think that's everything that's in this drawer so let's start here i guess um this is empty i tried to hang on to this as long as i could when they said that they were going out of out of business this is a farsali skin tune blur but y'all i heard farsali is back so i'm really excited but this is done i've 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 held on as long as i can we need to go ahead and let that go this is a totally primer i'm gonna let her go I don't have any like real reason because I'm just never drawn to it. So I'm going to go ahead and say, no, it doesn't need to be here. This was given to me. I don't really know how to use this. This is a translucent mix in medium. I'm not sure if this is supposed to like give your foundations a fuller coverage or what, but I, I don't, I think I'm going to let it go. My Sephora collection step one primer is going to stay. This is the Plump Right Back Primer from NYX, and this is gonna stay for sure. My LA Pro Girl Concealer, a color corrector, I'm going to let go. 
because I'm very much so satisfied with my NARS color corrector. So I'm gonna let that go. This is the NYX Shine Loud Liquid Lipstick and this is in the red shade. Love this formula, love the idea. Great product, but I'm gonna let it go because I much prefer the um, one from Gwen Stefani's brand. Is it in here or is it in my, no, yeah, right here. I much prefer this one. I wear this one all the time and because I wear this one all the time I don't really reach for the next one so I'm gonna let it go but I might pick up the next one in a different color because I do actually really enjoy the product I just don't need two red um, lip vinyls so this one's gonna go speaking of lip vinyls we have the Urban Decay Vice liquid lipstick I have it in the shade a few shades actually I have it in three shades I have it in Pleased, um, One Strangers, and Shock Value. I love this formula. I love these. These are absolutely staying. I actually think I really enjoy lip vinyls as well, but yeah, these are staying for sure. Huda Beauty Lipstick. I don't know. I just don't think it's the type of pink that I would wear. So I'm going to get this to my sister. This looks like something Niali would wear. Any, I, I don't know. But I think I'm good on this. This was a recent purchase, so we're definitely going to keep this. This is a Rare Beauty Illuminator, and this is in the shade Ca uh, Captivate. Really pretty. Going to hang on to that. I YSL New Primer. It's the mattifying one. Their blotting lotion. Really, really good. And then this is my Hangover RX. I love this in the wintertime. So yeah, we're gonna keep that. This is my mini of my Becca Evermat Poreless Primer. Such a good, good, good primer. I definitely am gonna keep it. We're, I'm almost done with it, so might as well finish that. Move on to actual lip colors, which, oh my gosh, so many things to go through. So, okay, let's start here. Yes and yes, this is my Dose of Colors um x nema tang lip liquid lipstick and then this is fenty unbuttoned or unveiled unbuttoned um i just bought this not too long ago so i'm keeping that um honestly y'all i ain't gonna lie i feel like i'm keeping all of my lips because i just enjoy them i don't see myself getting rid of any of them Nothing in here. So this is staying. This is staying. I often use this as a blush as well. Really, really nice blush. Let me see if there's anything that I am going to get rid of. But I think most of this is staying. This color, I don't use that often. This is the Pat McGrath lip gloss. And this is in the shade Flesh 4. I think I'm going to let that go. Because I also want the Fenty Hot Chocolate, the, um, I forgot what it's called, but I want that. So I think that'll take place of this. So that can go. This is another concealer that was randomly in there. My Cover FX concealer, which I am going to keep. So let me put that in its proper bin. This is a Ruby Kisses powder. I think if y'all remember, I featured an affordable look with this a few years ago, but I haven't used it since, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. As far as lips go, I feel like I pretty keep a pretty good pulse on what's working for me and what's not and getting rid of those things in real time. So yeah, I don't, I don't think I wanna actually get rid of any of this. Cause I have some backups in here and good stuff. Now this is my Artist Couture. Um, Diamond Lights Finisher, keeping, just need to relocate to its proper place. Um, if anything, I'm probably going to get rid of just like these mini Pat McGrath lipsticks because, because they're mini, I don't, no, I don't even want to get rid of these. I'm not getting rid of any of my lippies. I'm pretty satisfied with my collection. I've done a really good job at managing them. But, I mean, if y'all want me to go through my lip collection at another time, I can show y'all all of them. But 
this is a declutter video and none of this stuff is getting decluttered so let's keep it and in this drawer is just like all of my lashes some additional setting sprays and stuff so nothing in here like really needs to go um because i just put all this stuff in here so we're good on that front but i think if i am getting rid of the this is the cap so if i'm gonna give that uh i say a lot of double wear away i should give my sister or whoever i'm giving this to the cap another random bronzer so i have two bronzers um i have another mini of the charlotte tilbury which we're gonna keep the hula toasted bronzer i don't know i have a love hate relationship with this bronzer i just need to make sure that when i use this my brush is clean because i feel like this doesn't work well with anything other than itself so I'm going to keep it and just play with it a bit longer. But yeah, really good. Unless, yeah, I'm going to keep that. And then y'all know I'm keeping this. This isn't going anywhere. This is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade Deep. So we're keeping that as well. This is bag is really dirty, but this just has like all of my lip liners, eyeliners, and all of that in here. Um, I've done a really good job at keeping this to a minimum. So we're going to keep everything that's in here. Um, eyeshadows huh, let's see so let's start with these NK palettes these are dupes to the Huda Beauty mini palettes which I have some in here one or two in here at some point they are nice but they just don't give me the payoff that I want so in comparison to the Huda Beauty one so I'm not gonna keep them but I mean, they definitely get the job done if you're looking for something affordable and that you want to build up. But I would what much rather get rid of these and keep my Juvia's Place shadows because I don't have to work that hard with anything Juvia's Place. So I'm going to give these up. Like this Juvia's Place quad, it's a green one. But like these shadows are so easy to work with, super pigmented, and I don't have to try that hard. So I'm going to keep, look at this y'all. Next step after I declutter is going to be to clean this makeup, but we'll tackle that another day. Uh, now this I just bought. This is the new nudes palette. I haven't used it yet, so we're going to give, we got to give it at least one try. I think my eyes were just like, I don't know. I, I don't think I was thinking with my right brain when I got this. <laughs> I just saw that it was on sale during the VIB sale and then it had an additional sale. So this palette, I think is originally $65 and I got it 50% off during the VIB sale. I looked at this palette when it first came out so many times and never pulled the trigger. And I think I literally just pulled the trigger now because it's on sale. But I don't know, this palette doesn't look black girl friendly other than this little six pans here I don't know what these shades do but none of these look like they're gonna work for me these like matte shades so I maybe I'll watch some videos of other dark skin youtubers using this and then make my decision from there because if I can give it away just like untouched I'd rather do that but I bought it so I kind of want to try it but then again, it's an old palette. So like, is anybody even checking for a review or anything on this? I don't know. You guys let me know if y'all want to see me try this palette. But if not, I'm giving it away to somebody who could use it. Because I, I don't think this was made for me. This is the ABH Alyssa Edwards palette. Now this palette gets very seldom use. But it has really bright colors. And I know there are like a time and place for these colors. So I'm going to keep it just for that, just because I know that at some point I'll be wanting to do a look and I'll need like a blue or something and I'm going to have to pull this out. So I'm going to keep this for that. Let me see. Again, again with these, I don't really think there's much palettes that I want to give away. Like I'm giving this away, obviously. We just talked about that. Um, this is my favorite palette of all time one of them this is the friendcation palette look how beat up this is 
I love this palette so, so much. I actually remember Tay bought me this palette when we were dating. We're dating. We're still dating. But like before we got engaged. Um, and I was just so excited because I loved this palette. Like, especially this was my favorite shade. Obviously, I need, I need to clean this. But this was such a good palette. I'm not getting rid of it. So you guys remember this palette? This is the, what is this palette? Is this the, yeah, this is the, my first ever Pat McGrath palette that I bought myself, the Mothership palette. We have to keep this, if not for nothing else, but like nostalgia. But I, of course, I love the shadows, but yes, we have to keep this. I don't know what this is doing here, but this is a Wet n Wild Halo Blush lighter duo this is not for my complexion so i don't know but this can go <laughs> um and then i have my natasha denona zendo palette which you guys know i love this is a makeup shack bronzer palette of course we're keeping this really good for my kit as well i'm pretty sure this is also just random from i just yeah random from like doing my sister's makeup or something because this normally is in my kit but if you are a makeup artist highly recommend super affordable and you can mix and match the perfect bronzing um shade and layer these to get you know the exact shade that you're looking for so highly recommend y'all know this is brand new and a new favorite of mine this is the abh rose metals palette love that of course we're keeping jackie we talked about the huda i'm keeping that i think the only i think the only real palette that i'm gonna get rid of is this one this is the nars palette and this was a holiday collection um in the sh in the name ignited that was the name of the palette it's like this which as you can see i've gotten some you know a good amount of use out of it i just don't know if i gravitate towards all these colors but actually, I think I'm going to keep it. These are really nice neutrals. This is a good, like, travel palette. So, yeah, I don't I don't think I'm getting rid of anything. I don't know how this is a declutter because all of these I'm keeping. That's my Sephora collection. Um, my Sephora Pro, the all mattes. Great for bridal. Love this palette. Um, Super News palette, soft glam. I guess the only palette that I'm really questionable about is this one. The new news palette from Huda Beauty. So y'all let me know if y'all think I should keep this or get rid of it. This is the Crayon Case Matte Book. Now, I really, I really wanted to like this. And I really wanted something that was colorful that I could play off of. But I think, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. But these shadows are a little bit patchy. So I think I'm going to let this go. I think I'm gonna let it go and I think I'm gonna try and get something else that is like a really good colorful palette so if you guys have any suggestions then let me know but for now I think I'm gonna let it go I only really need one or two colorful palettes in case someone is asking for a colorful look because I don't really do that much color um and there's one brand, it's like a UK brand that everyone loves. It's not coming to me right now, but I have looked at her stuff before. I think I'm gonna buy that as a substitute for this instead. But yeah, we're, we're gonna let her go. This video is gonna be so freaking long, but essentially, let me, let me show y'all everything that we're decluttering. Put some things away. Minus that stuff over here and this stuff that's being you know filed and put away in the kit this is everything that we're getting rid of and I feel like this is a pretty good declutter I I wasn't excessive I don't have that much stuff but this is all the stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of and not bringing into 2023 with me tell me what you guys think tell me what do you think of the things that I decluttered getting away getting rid of I'm gonna go ahead and toss the things that I need to toss and then probably pack this stuff up and give it to like my little sister or my cousin or something um but yeah that's everything guys that's pretty much everything for this video thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you beautiful people in my next one smooches